Well, Dancing with the Lexington Stars is celebrating 10 years in the bluegrass. It raises money for surgery on Sunday and the Lexington Rotary Club Endowment Fund. Honorary Chair Krinda Frankie tells us how you can be part of the exciting event. Hello, thank you for having me. Well, this year it's going to look a little different, but I think we've all gotten used to things looking a little different, right? Um, so the past two weeks, the dancers have been working really hard and recording their dances. This Saturday, we will be doing a live streaming event and you guys will get to see the dancers and their routines at the same time the judges do. So it's going to be really exciting. Who are the, some of the names that we may recognize who are taking part in this year's Dancing with the Stars? Well, you know, we have six brave dancers that uh, hung in there because again, you know, it's been challenging. They've had to, to try to um, work around COVID guidelines and busy schedules and so forth. But uh, Rob and Diane Perez, a lot of people in the community certainly know them with all the great work they do with Deviate Kitchen and Saul Good. So we've got them dancing and we have Larry Cash with UK. Um, gosh, we, uh, it's so exciting. We have Raina Fuller dancing, so it's going to be a big, big lineup. This is an important event too for an important cause. So how does this give back to the community? So we have two presenting sponsors. Uh, one is CHI, St. Joseph Healthcare, and then of course it couldn't be done without Arthur Murray. So with their backing and along with other sponsors, uh, the money will go to one of my favorite uh, charities, which is Surgery on Sunday. And their passion is changing lives one surgery at a time. I'm not sure how much you know about Surgery on Sunday, but they do very needed surgeries for people that are either uninsured or underinsured and just really make a difference. The surgeons, the clinical staff, they all volunteer countless hours selflessly to really make a difference in people's lives. How can people who are watching take part? How can they help? You have an auction. There are different ways that people can get involved. Yeah, there are. And you know, we were talking, it's kind of unique this year because the event is now open up to anyone, anywhere. There's lots of auction items and they're actually live now. I'm watching one in particular, but I will not tell you which one because I really want it. <laughs> so <laughs> you have to log in and try to figure out which one was my favorite. And then you can also vote for the dancers. They need your votes. We would love to move these auction items because even though it is a lot of fun, the main thing is to raise as much money as possible. So if people visit Dancing with the LexingtonStars.com, they can find out all about it. They can see where they can live stream on Saturday at 7 p.m., vote for dancers, and maybe get lucky and buy a couple of the nice items. The virtual Dancing with the Lexington Stars is Saturday night, and you can bid on auction items and vote for dancers right now. Just go to DancingWithTheLexingtonStars.com.